Philly Manis here out, and Zamba is one of the best in the area as we get this first of top eight started. We'll see who edges it out first in the early interactions. Big tip for Tat, but right now Zamba pressuring uh, Icy a little bit more, starting the uh, disruption game up close, really not giving Icy a whole lot to breathe and work with. Yeah, no, for sure. One thing I can definitely appreciate about appreciate about her gameplay is that she's definitely not a Wi-Fi Samus. I know for a lot of people, when they see Samus, they get a little nervous. She does play a little bit passive. I will say that she does kind of like bob and weave out of certain situations. There are times where she will go for the retreat to get her charge shot, but then you do see moments like this where she will attempt to go in. Unfortunately, be reversing the wrong way, and she is going to unfortunately drop that stock. Now, once again, Zamba actually and I were talking, and he was like, this is the only person in the venue that I I don't know how I'm going to play against. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, definitely an interesting winner semis. I do believe this is a best of five, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, top four is. Top four is, all right, top four, all right, nothing has changed about this bear. So this is actually best of three here. So Icy really needs to kind of land these stocks now because one thing that we know, not only from the Twitter burst now, but from everywhere else, Rob is big. <laughs> so I even think a charge shot, even at this length right here, like underneath one of those left side platforms, may not exactly do anything. Yes. And Zamba's doing a pretty good job right now of kind of capitalizing off of her mistakes. But that back here is secretly one of just the more stronger moves that Samus has in her arsenal. Mm. Especially with the way that you said Icy uh, weaves back and forth with the close up and far away gameplay. Uh, definitely one of the kill utiliz uh, utilizations that she has. Right now, Zamba, though, off stage, a kind of a different story. Uh, Rob can definitely put a lot of pressure on Icy for covering, even though Icy does have the uh, the tether to get back. Uh, Rob is just a menace off stage, obviously, with the up B recovery, can fair and can even side B to disrupt uh, the tether uh, swing back and forth. It'll catch a lot easier than most other moves. And it could be a disruptor that Icy wouldn't expect, but right now, Again, Zamba, the most, much like the first interaction we saw in the first docks, doing a great job even locking down control of the uh, main stage. So it's really going to be interesting to see what Icy finds out about Zamba's gameplay where she can break through and get an edge on. Maybe the up east breaks out uh, at these higher percentages could take, but uh, she might need a lot more in order to edge anything out off stage as we see Zamba come back right now. Throwing out the up air, just disrupting uh, any sort of approach option from the ledge that Icy put out. And then there, again, great uh, landing option. So even above the stage in the air, uh, Rob is always, always uh, a menace when his uh, afterburners aren't on the ground. And that charge shot is going to be able to take it. Icy Miss, who was trailing behind for this practically the entire match, now finally going to find her footing right exactly when she needs it. Nice 42% to kind of start off the stock with 62. And she kind of has Zamba now on the ropes a little bit. 183 on Samus, so an up throw from Zamba is going to kill, or even just the Nair coming down. But Rob has already taken 107%, and Zamba would need essentially what I'd like to call a perfect stock where he just does not get hit in order for him to kind of be able to seal this game one. Now, just a reminder, this is a best of three. Yeah. So what I really like about Icy's play is that I feel like her and Ice, her and uh, Zamba actually play pretty similar. Uh, they both utilize their very good projectile, the charge shot and a gyro practically the same exact way. Mm -hmm. They'll go for a combo, they'll start it up, and when they feel unsure, they'll actually kind of go back and charge. Zamba, though, going to be able to be in a little bit of an advantage state, but he's going to knock the laser off the platform and going to eat that charge shot to the face. And uh, the cla this is such a classic uh, tri-state move, and especially from the Jersey players. They, like, move their pointer finger around in a circle to, like, <laughs> signify that they want to go back. Yeah, it's, yeah, like, yeah. such, it's such a, it's, like, so, it's so tri-state. But <laughs> once again, Icy Miss, she, she is, she is not to sleep on. She had an amazing performance at SmashCon. I do believe she is a free agent, so anybody who's okay. looking inside a chat, let's get our tri-state players. Uh, even though, you know, I know a lot of people like to consider uh, Pittsburgh to be Ohio sometimes because it's really close. I you know, mean, Pittsburgh and Ohio, like, yeah. I know they go out to some of the same tournaments uh, together, but uh, I still consider her to be a part of the Tri-State fam, even yeah. though she's a little far away. But so far, Zamba has, you know, expressed his, you know, not 
like dissatisfactory from that game one by just absolutely laying on all the percent, especially with Gyro off stage. I don't think I've ever seen him play that aggressively with Gyro before. Yeah, I mean, aggression also as he just sweeps up that stock, only 1.2 damage. That is a near mint rob coming out of that box. Uh, but yeah, just being so pinpoint with both Gyro and Laser that just Icy was just struggling so hard to get back on stage, not finding any purchase to get back on. And right now, a uh, very, uh, very big mountain to climb. Uh, and actually, the way that Zama's moving around uh, a lot now, uh, very, very different from his uh, round one, just uh, weaving back and forth, uh, sort of what, what Icy would do uh, to go back and forth between her projectile to close-up gameplay. Uh, he's being a lot more... Uh, 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 dodgy to get yeah. an, an attack on, but then he, again, Rob knows his combos. Any uh, well practiced Rob will, and he's just going full extent with his combos to just put pile on the pressure on Icy. Yeah, no, for sure. I feel like what Zomba's doing so much better this game that he wasn't doing last game is that he was kind of giving Icy Mist a free way back to stage every single time. She would recover pretty safe, like every single time. And I feel like now, once Zomba has her on the ledge, she's not coming back. Mm -hmm. So. You know, once again, Zamba knows these combos, but what he's doing really well is just adapting to the way that she recovers. And it's three to one stock. So once again, this is a best of three. So at this point, if I'm Icy Mist, I'm gonna think to myself, do I really wanna go back to PS2? Know for a lot of people, they say to themselves that, you know, it's not the stage choice, but I feel like sometimes a change of scenery may help. But Ice Mist, definitely not down and out because Samus, believe it or not, is rather heavy. But, you know, you have a huge mountain to climb because Rob is just so big uh, with Zomba here. Down Smash not going to be able to take that stock out. Yeah, but that back air is going to send her right off and Zomba on the verge of a three stock. Got that little booster fare in there. And that is going to be Zomba taking right back the command of this game. And that is going to be a brutal three stock. Yeah, just insane adaptation for Zomba. Recognizing, like you said, Icy Mist, free recovery off stage. And then he said, wait a minute, I'm Rob. <laughs> wait, I'm big. <laughs> so he just flooded the left and right sides of the stage with so many projectiles. And then they're pursuing with fair. And it was just so much of a wall for, uh, for Icy to get around. Uh, going back to the stage picks, I'm not sure what they picked here, but Probably I... Probably PS2. It's a Tri-State Classic. Oh, oh Bastion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this I, is a great stage for both characters, I think. I would have thought maybe Town of City might have been a little bit in favor of Icy Mist, but, uh, I mean, not a whole lot, because uh, as we see, Icy Mist gets a lot of her kills off the side, and uh, the high ceiling would uh, give a uh, disadvantage to Zamba because of the whole Rob chaining into up airs and up smashes, but I mean, he can also kill off the side as well, so I'm not sure how much of a benefit, but we're seeing it right now in spades. Icy Mist able to uh, edge it out first stock in this very, uh, very definitive and very necessary round three. Going one up on stocks on Zamba and still just piling it on, landing four up airs. Just not letting up the pressure whatsoever. Basically a total switch in pressure from what we saw from the second and third games. Yeah, no, for sure. Once again, I feel like we're seeing a like kind of a mimic of last game, except just in heavily Ice Mist's favor. I feel like both of these players, I feel like if they get a really good start, you know, they're able to kind of keep their lead. So I really want to see how Zamba is going to be able to kind of flush this out if he can. But so far, Icy's playing so much more passive. She's playing really well. That down air definitely put her in a little bit of disadvantage there, but still able to kind of maintain her own. What I really like about this stage choice, though, is going to be that key platform. We see that Zamba comes down with Rob Nair all the time. Oh, yeah. So when you have a platform there to essentially stop it, now you're sitting three stocks to one, and you are, and she's about to punch her way into winner's finals easily, honestly. Now, Zamba is at a fresh stock. We know that he can do things like this, but man, against Samus, a character that strongholds really well, he's just gonna have to play really patient and wait for those options, just like that one. Just got that 2-1, but once you have the lead with Samus, you can resort to the faraway gameplay that we kind of saw, not a whole lot from Icy Mist, but it is in reserve. Zama can do the same, but right now I think Icy would obviously get a lot more value out of it because uh, projectiles only pepper on damage, and right now Zama needs to layer on the damage on Icy Mist right now. Uh, so it, the mid game, uh, you know, you have to find your approaches in, but 
uh, the far away game, I just don't see a benefit for Zamba at the moment. Are you... Oh my god, he hasn't even taken a percent this stock. Oh my god, able to clutch two stocks out with 0% on his last one. If I'm Icy to Mist, I have to find a way to stop kind of momentum. I mean, listen, you're Samus. You, you can sit back and camp a little bit, but I guess that's just not in her true style. Going for these up airs. Once again, they're big, big hitbox. Oh, nice on Zampa to wait. So super smart. Charge shot is going to kind of connect there. But once again, this is so winnable for Zamba if he just kind of buckles down. Ooh, once again, that down air, couple down airs that I've seen so far from Ison is kind of unsafe. Oh my god. And the Rob up smash is going to pick up. We're going to see exactly how this one's going to go. Beautiful spot dodge by Zamba. Gets a little F tilt out there. Gyro goes. Yeah, I like how Zamba's also giving her a space, you know. He's just trying to actually read the movement instead of rather than just going for any hard reads here. But you put yourself on the ledge versus her, and I don't know if that was a smart decision. I mean, it's hard to say just in the uh, the player's moments. Just because this is winner's side, any risk is a potential failure, but uh, he will find success in that. Zamba will find the last per uh, hit purchase on Icy Mist and will advance on winner's side. Was that F-Tilt? All right, so you I see the Rob Nair coming down right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was F-Tilt. I want to see kind of how that killed. 143. So the gyro takes out the charge shot. Laser goes out. Down tilt, F-Tilt. Strange, strange kind of KO there. But yeah. you know, <laughs> nevertheless, I mean, interesting. Um, if anything, that was just a testament to how good Zamba was. Yeah, yeah. Um, That's how good Zamba is, everybody. He literally just kind of was like, hey, um, by the way, it's my birthday. It is Zamba's <laughs> true, birthday for true, real, true. though. He is 16. 